Hi everyone, welcome to my Rise Son of Wrong campaign review. Let's get started. Okay, so here you have your start menu. You'll be able to access your campaign, which are your missions and collectibles along with booster packs, your gladiator, which is your multiplayer character, and your hero, which is your character in game, aka Marius. Now as you can see, this game is beautiful, absolutely stunning. I enjoy it very much because of the beautiful graphics and the intense gameplay. It has, it's fairly simple combat. You mean you have your sword slash, your shield bash, your dodge, your block. Not very complicated. Actually it's fairly simple, but it still delivers a packing punch, as you can see shortly. Then you also have your heavy attacks, which are somewhat more damaging. And you also can't spam the same move, or, the, or they'll adapt to your move and block it. Let's say you keep hitting Sword Slash over and over and over again. They'll learn how to block it and evade it, so you'll have to come up with something else, like shield bashing them. Um, rolls in combat aren't generally that useful, unless you're trying to get the first hit or avoid getting, in the, getting hit when running into a group. That's usually when I use rolls, but that's just me. It's also nice how when you point Marius in the direction of a character, he starts to run at that character and you don't have to manually move him all the way over there to attempt to take out that grunt or enemy. As you can see, the larger individuals with the shields are a bit tougher to beat than just the grunts. There are more elite characters in the game besides these characters, however, they won't be seen in this gameplay. It usually goes grunts, mediums, and heavies. But, you have a few heavies or mediums that can become really tricky at times. There's more than just this large guy, you see. Then we have our beautiful executions. The executions are very delivering in a sense of accomplishment. They're not as bloody as some games like Mortal Kombat. However, they're still quite nice, I think. And they deserve some recognition. Oh no! No, oh, well, you're dead. Sorry, buddy. You, you kind of shouldn't have ran out there. Got one. Congratulations. You're a dumb barbarian. Alright, so as you can see, you can shield bash the arrows or, you know, or evade them. I, if you want to run and dash in, you should use A to deflect them because that's going to be the faster approach. But if you want to play it safe and play safely, you should evade to cover or just evade the arrows in general. Now we have our archers coming down to come get me. I don't see why they just don't sit on top and try to snipe at me, but then again, that wouldn't be too fair, I guess. In your upper left, you can see you can see your health bar and your focus bar. Then in the hilt, you have what is your bonus. When you execute people, you get a bonus, as you can see. Now all those points do go to something, like that combo in and the execution points. They goes towards your heroes, your hero's points. That'll allow you to upgrade Marius. There's no weapon upgrades or shield upgrades, however, there there are stat upgrades that'll help you very much in the game. You can also kill enemies or execute them while they're busy or not paying attention, such as I just did. So all out of all, this game is fairly good. Some of the cons of it are, if you don't like an open world game, this game isn't the game for you. It's just not that open world. However, it's still fairly good. This game is also extremely good at making you feel alone or together when it wants you to be. It can say right now you have a sense of togetherness because you're with your fellow Romans, but there are times it isolates you and makes you feel lonely. And it does a very good job at delivering that effect. The campaign of Marius is extremely easy to get into and the story of his life because it's pretty screwed up. I'm not gonna lie. This game is also not historically accurate. For those of you looking for an extremely historically, historically accurate game, this somewhat twists history a good bit actually. So you won't enjoy this game if that's what you're looking for. So all of all, due to the delivering campaign, the simple but delivering combat, I give this game a rating of 4 out of 5. Now thank you, subscribe, like, and don't forget to share. And comment.